it's me Ivan G again and today I get uh, I don't know if it is golden chance or it's amazing chance mm -hmm. to meet with a beautiful lady from German uh, Josephine actually I was so surprised when to see her here in Uganda and I wish to know a bit for her what he, she's doing exactly and what I make her interested to be uh, here in Uganda. So, uh, Josephine, welcome to EM Online TV. Thank Actually, you. here we're sharing the inspiration story mm -hmm. in order uh, to learn from each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. But before everything, I wish to know a bit about yourself. Okay. Um, thank you very much. My name is Josephine. Um, how you said, I'm from Germany. I'm now 18 years old. And I grew up in the north of Germany, in Kiel. It's a city very close to the Dan Danish border, so it's like really in the north. And um, I also live close to the sea. Maybe this is something special about me that I love the water, I love to swim, I love to surf. Um, and yeah, I grew up there with three siblings. Um, and this year I finished school um, in summer. And after that, I came to Uganda for a volunteer service. I'm going to stay here until August um, because then I have to go to study. Well, I don't have to go, but I wish to, to go for studying. Um, and probably I'm going to study law in Hamburg. Maybe some of you know the city. Um, yes, that's a bit about me. Why is Uganda in not any country of Africa? Okay, so maybe I can start first with, um, so my idea was to do a voluntary service in Africa because I've never been to Africa. I also felt like I don't know much about the continent, um, but I heard so many things about it and I heard that it's very interesting, but I feel like not today still, um, we don't know enough about Africa and the culture and I felt like I'm young and I'm open to things right now so I can experience like some a totally different life and then at first I planned to go to South Africa do my voluntary service in South Africa um, but there we had problems with the, with the visa so two weeks before I came to Uganda I switched to another country and um, the reason why I came to Uganda was Django International because I heard about the project and I was so interested and it seemed so so great because I wanted to do voluntary service in Africa to get to know the people and not I didn't want to be here as a tourist but just to to really connect with people and I felt like Django International is the, the right place for that and then I came to Uganda and this is how I got to know Uganda I didn't know much about Uganda before um, but what I when pa people ask me now how is Uganda I would say from my perspective it's not maybe it's not how Uganda is from but from my perspective I feel like people are very open-minded the ones that I met um, they are wel very welcome. They are welcoming you. Um, they are very friendly, and Uganda is very green. This is also something. And many people are um, passionate about agriculture. This is also something I learned. And the young people I met here, they are. I don't know how to say. I feel like they are very brave, and they really want to change something in their country. And this is something I really admire. This. These are the things I. I maybe can say about Uganda so far. Yeah, I, I, I really like that. But I want to ask you also another thing. Uh, I have, you have some perception before you came here in Africa and maybe Africa will be like this, like this. Mm -hmm. But are the perception which you have and what you found here are the same or it is somewhat differ? Of course, I would say it's, it's of course, it's different from what you think first. Um, so I think through the internet, books, um, things you study in school, you, you have some, some information that is right. Um, but I feel like before you cannot say anything or not know anything about a country or not, not, I don't know. You cannot say, you know, the country before you've not gone mm -hmm. to this country, going to this country. And, um, I, th I think. When, when I talk, told people I'm going to Uganda, they were thinking many things about 
how this place here is, for example, that are not true. And um, for example, maybe people are not so much educated because mm -hmm. people don't have so much money. They they might not be able to provide to, to sustain themselves or and maybe people are not happy because they don't have enough money. Um, of course, also, but when people think of Africa, they mostly think it's very hot. For example, this place here is not, it's, of course, it's warm. It's, it's summer temperatures the whole year, but it can be very, very cold, mm -hmm. uh, especially at night. I'm really freezing. Mm -hmm. And um, also the lifestyle and the culture, it's when you experience it, it's so different than things you hear before. Yeah, I don't. Uh, for me, I'm I'm here sin now since three months, so I I I even forgot how, what I thought about Ka Uganda before I came here. So maybe that's what I can say. But I uh, this is also the reason why I came here is that I want to bring a, another picture or maybe a picture that is more close to reality to back to Germany, so people really know how Uganda is. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that is nice, and also I'm so happy. You, I, I had at the first you say that you are so young. Mm. Um, I don't know if it is okay for you to tell me the exact age which you are. Yes, I'm 18. You are 18 yes. years old. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, I like. That. So I believe you are 18 years. So who fundraising everything about the transport from Uganda mm. up to here and everything? Who care about that? <laughs> Yes, um, I'm very lucky because I'm part of a program. It's called Weltwärts. Um, I had to apply for this program in autumn. Um, and basically, I get funded by a ministry, a specific ministry. I think it's something about um, economics, education, something in this direction. So from our government, I get funded um a part of the of this program or this year the costs i have to um collect funds for myself mm -hmm. um i think it's like you collect funds from who it's for so so little part of the, the money we we as volunteers we have mm -hmm. to take care of ourselves but the idea is not that we just pay that we um ask maybe family members friends um, other organizations for a little money and um, when they give us the money we will for example tell them we are going to to do a blog I'm doing I'm I'm doing a blog where I where I tell them about my life here what I do what I experience so that the idea is also that other people get to know of what I'm doing here mm -hmm. um, yeah and this program is, is yeah it's just great because this year I'm not earning anything Right, because I'm just here doing voluntary service. I'm not earning anything. I've not earned in in my past, so my parents don't have to pay for me. Um, yeah, so it's I'm getting a little pocket money, and I get a little money for food. Um, it's not much, but it's it's really great. And and the reason why the government is doing that is is that every every one or every youth in Germany who wants to do voluntary service is able to do it. So it's not um, depending on the parents' income, it's just everyone can do it. Um, of course, you have some small responsibilities. You have to write um, some articles for the organization. You have some, some things you have to do. But in general, it's just a, a great opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, that is, I think it's an amazing chance. Yeah. And also, uh, I feel in love with a uh, German government when <laughs> I see that and I hear that it provides some yeah. money yeah. for scholars to go outside. Yeah. And also, and also, I like the kind of people because people to contribute for you mm -hmm. to go somewhere, I think yeah. it's a good culture. One idea of this program is also that we, the youth, we go back to Germany and we um maybe have this view from uganda we can bring it home mm -hmm. and for example when we are grown up we can we can use this these things we learned here mm -hmm. um to maybe work with um development um so some how do i say mm -hmm. uh 
like you, when when Germany wants to work with Uganda, we can be part of ah, this, and ah, also yeah. so they are they also for for the government it's a it's they are not only giving us the money because they are nice. It's mm -hmm. also because they want us to come back to Germany and use our knowledge and maybe maybe use it in politics or I don't like in our jobs so so that maybe Uganda and Germany can get closer closer together and yeah, yeah I, I, I really like that you means that things like it to the relationship or with yes, the, right. the the partnership organization between Uganda and yeah. German yeah. but yeah and also I, I really like that also you say that you are here also you are learning mm -hmm. you are learning something because I thought maybe us African we thought we needed to come and German to learn but I'm so happy when I hear that also even you you came here and you learn something uh, for basically, the future. I'm going to. I'm here because I want to learn things. Mm. Uh, but uh, uh, for example, myself, mm -hmm. if someone you say that uh, choose your choice country you want to visit right mm -hmm. now, for me, I can say that Dubai, mm -hmm. or I can say that uh, maybe USA mm -hmm. or America, which those developed the country mm -hmm. which has. In, good infrastructure and everything. Why it's for you, you decided to come in African country mm -hmm. and not choosing to go on the very developed country? Mm -hmm. mm, I think the main reason is because I just wanted to see another culture, another kind of living. And um, I've never had the like when I would choose a country where I would say I, I could, can learn the most from it would be a country in Africa or maybe a under the so-called underdeveloped country because mm -hmm. there are so many things in my country I think are maybe right or ways of living that I think are right and the only it's the, it's the only way but when I can't when I since I'm here I see so many th ways of, of of living that are also so so great and working out and I, I think what i learned here what i learned here for now is that you can be people can be happy um can be friendly and people are working together get together even though they don't have much money um and you can be happy with with without so many things. And I think the problem for maybe us in Germany or in developed countries is that we think we need so many things. We think we need uh, holidays. We think we need expensive clothes. We think we need, um, I don't know, great food. But with all of this, you forget what really is important in life. And what's important in life is connections to people, is working together, is developing idea, being innovative. And this is something I experience here at Janggu. It's that people may, might not have have much money. Maybe they are broke in the end of the month, but still look at this place. It's so beautiful. We are, we are having fun. We are working together. Um, we are just... We're, we are just so happy without so many things and to experience this is something I'm very thankful for and I think it's also going to help me for my whole life. Um, yeah. I really uh, appreciate that because yeah and also I become to realize also happiness mm -hmm. is something which is according to yourself, your perception. If you believe that to having much money is can give you happiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like that.